Jasmine. Today, I'm going to be breaking down the six main figure skating jumps for you guys. Those are Sal, Toe, Loop, Flip, Let's, and Axel. All these jumps have singles, doubles, triples, and quads. I'm going to be doing the basic single jumps and the more advanced doubles for you guys. So, let's get started. Now, I'm really sad because you know that the first ever jump that you will ever learn in figure skating is a waltz jump. Just because there's no double waltz jump, triple waltz jump, or quad waltz jump, it's been forgotten in the figure skating world, and it's all like Pluto, and now I'm really sad for the waltz jump. The first and easiest jump is the sockout jump. The sockout is an edge jump. I take off on a left outside three turn, but if you're a lefty, you'll take off on a right outside edge three turn. To get up into the air from backward, you bend your knee and bring your foot forward. Then you'll complete a full half turn on the ice to face forward. Then you will jump up and rotate half a rotation in the air. Then there is the double saw cow. This is the easiest double, also the easiest triple, easiest quad, and so on. As in a single, I take off on a left outside three turn. To get up into the air, I rotate half a rotation on the ice to face forward. Then I will spring up from one leg and complete one and a half rotations in the air. The second jump is the toe loop jump. This jump is a little bit harder to do than the salt cow. The toe loop is a toe jump. It's right in its name if you get confused. There are two entries for the toe loop. I'll be showing you guys one of them in this video. So I will do a left outside three turn and then pick back with my left toe pick. But if you're a lefty, then you would do right outside three turn and pick back with your right toe pick. Then you would rotate half a rotation on the ice so that you face forward and you would jump up and complete half a rotation in the air. Then of course there's the double toe loop. It is the same steps to get into the jump as the single toe loop. Just when it comes to rotation, you will rotate one and a half rotations in the air instead of just half. The third jump is the loop jump. This is the jump that splits all the jumps into the easy and advanced jumps. This jump is like the middle jump. The loop jump is an edge jump. The loop jump is probably the only jump that you will see without a fancy entrance, but in this clip, I like to do traveling three turns before to give me a little more check and more flow into the jump. But for this jump, you will see most skaters do it from a backward glide entrance. To do this jump, you will be backward, then you will turn half a rotation on the ice so that you face forward. Next, you will jump up into the air and rotate half a rotation. The next jump is the double loop. This jump is really fun once you get it. Again, you could choose to do whatever entrance you want to into the jump. And to do the jump is the same steps, but for the jump, you will not rotate half a rotation in the air. You will rotate one and a half rotations in the air. The fourth jump is the flip jump, but this is not like the flip in gymnastics. This is the flip as in figure skating. The flip jump is a toe jump. The flip jump can be done from a three turn or a mohawk. I like to do mine from a mohawk. I do mine from a right inside mohawk and toe back with my right toe pick. But if you're a lefty, then just switch that around. Then I do a half rotation on the ice to face forward. Next, I jump up and complete half rotations in the air. Now there's the double flip. You can choose whatever inch you want for the jump and I'll be showing you with the mohawk. It is the same steps but all the other double jumps you will complete one and a half rotations in the air. The fifth and most hardest jump of all is the lunch jump. The lunch jump is my second favorite. The lunch jump is a toe jump. To go into a lutz, I start from a backward left outside edge. Then I just pick back with my right toe. Then I turn half a rotation on the ice to face forward. Next, I jump up and rotate half a rotation in the air. The second most difficult double jump is the double lutz jump. 
The entry is exactly the same, just you rotate one and a half rotations in the air. It might sound really simple, but you have to maintain the nice outside edge curve or else you'll get an edge call in competitions. I'm still struggling a little with my edge, but it's definitely better than what it was and it's still improving. Now, the sixth and final jump we will be discussing is the most noticeable jump, the axle jump. The axle jump is an edge jump. The axle jump is probably the most noticeable jump because it's the only jump that has a forward outside edge entry. For the axle jump, you only rotate quarter of a rotation on the ice instead of a half. So the axle jump actually starts sideways. Then you'll jump up into the air and do one and a half rotations. Now, if you think the single axle is not difficult, then you're in for a challenge. The most difficult double jump has to be double axle. It has more rotations than a normal double, so they might as well just call it the first triple. And it practically is. A double axle is two and a half rotations in the air. I do not have my double axle yet, but I'm working really hard on it. This is just a clip of me doing one on the harness. I hope you guys liked that video. I want you guys to comment down below which jump are you working on. If you like that video, I have a challenge for you guys. You have 10 seconds to click that big red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to get notified whenever I post a new video. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Did you do it? Comment down below if you did it. See you guys next time. I love you guys. Bye!